as ocean explorer traveled through the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia, we passed by Krakatoa, or what's left of it at least. When this volcano erupted in 1883, it created the loudest sound in human history, heard up to 3,000 miles away. Ash fell thousands of miles away too. Hazy skies and strangely colored sunsets were seen around the world, and global temperatures were slightly cooler for the next five years. The eruption had a terrible cost, the lives of 36,000 people. And the hazards of Krakatoa didn't disappear after 1883. In the late 1920s, a new volcano rose from the sea in the caldera. We called it uh, Child of Krakatoa. Or Anak Krakatoa. That's geophysics expert Admiral Musa Julius, who works for the government agency that monitors earthquakes and tsunamis in Indonesia. Anak Krakatoa has erupted several times in its life so far. The worst of these happened a few years ago. And the last eruption in 2018 induced landslide and tsunami. The timing made it particularly dangerous. It was at the 22 December 2018, so it was long holiday. Many people were gathered near the coast in Java and Sumatra for the holiday weekend. And because there wasn't the typical earthquake before the tsunami, no one was prepared. 437 people died. This tragedy motivated the Indonesian government to improve early warning systems for tsunamis triggered by things other than earthquakes, like volcanoes. Our president also made this as the national issue to pay attention more to uh, Krakatoa. Indonesia has over 120 active volcanoes, so the associated risks are a daily reality of living there. Scientists like Musa constantly monitor volcanic activity and have a scale for telling people how dangerous a volcano is at a given time. From the white to the yellow, orange, and red. The uh, orange and red, ma people must be evacuated. Fortunately, we passed Anak Krakatoa when it was safe. Today is white. Seeing this place up close was a humbling reminder of the power of nature.